Oggi abbiamo avuto l'onore e il piacere di passare una giornata con Olof Arnaz. Olof è un artista che arriva dall'Islanda, è arrivata a Parma per farci ascoltare la sua musica. Ha già alle spalle quattro album, molto diversi tra loro. L'ultimo di questi lavori si chiama Palme e contiene canzoni e melodie in bilico tra sogni e realtà. Olof, thank you very much for accepting this interview. Oh, thank you. And uh, I'm going to, to start asking you to tell us how your career started. Um, I started uh, singing and playing music when I was a child, um, learning violin and singing. Uh, but my, my first record I, I released in my 20s, yeah. And you started to study music or yes, this was just a I passion? Learned, no, I, I learned violin and, and singing. And then, Since you were but, a child? Yeah, but, but then guitar I, I learned myself. I didn't want any teacher to teach me guitar. <laughs> How did you have the feeling that music would be so important for your life? Um, I, when I was 12, I decided. Came home from, a, from playing with the, with the kids and they were, you know, making fun of me and, and I went home and I said, well, I'm just going to be a musician. <laughs> so, very clear in mind yeah. what, what you... Yeah, 12, 12. Fantastic. And is there something you hate about your job? For example, interviews or... <laughs> no, no. No, I can't because it's, um, it's a blessing and a privilege yeah. to be able to, to work doing what you love. I have read a very funny story on your Facebook page okay. about a picture and I am going to show you what I mean. Oh yes! Can you tell us the story behind this draw? Yes, um, I, was play, I was going to play a concert in Tallinn <laughs> and they asked me to send a picture and I only had in low, very low pixels for them and they asked, uh, can you send you know, a higher resolution? And I said, I don't have it. They said, oh, no problem, we'll just draw it. So they drew a whole, you know, they drew the whole picture. And I said, oh, this is, I like this, this is good. I believe Italian people n n knows you so little. So I'm going to ask you uh, if you can try to explain them, who is Olof? It's a hard question. Uh, i think that uh, Olof is a singer and composer and because who, who, who makes music because she can't help it. Nice, because it, it's not so usual, the music you, uh, you compose. The, the no, I, th I think it's, it's, it's very um, directly from, from who, who I am. So maybe the music speaks more for who I am than how I can explain. Do you think it's uh, easier or harder having a dream about music in Iceland compared with the the other state in Europe or in the United States, for example? I think um, it's, an, it's a privilege to be from Iceland when you have icons such as Björk, who obviously opened the gateway yeah. for the rest of us. Um, and of course, it's, um, it's almost like you have a... It, it's a yeah, you have a, pri you have a privilege, but at the same time, of course, the most important thing is, is what you want to say with, with, you, with your music. And for, for a very long time, I tried not to focus on where I was from because I saw much more importance in, in the musicianship. And I didn't want to think of myself as an Icelandic musician. I wanted to see myself as, an, as a musician. But of course, you can't. You can't deny where you're from and you can't, 
yeah, you have to, yeah, you have have to pay tribute. I think. I read somewhere that uh, Palme, your last album, is your favorite because it's pretty different. Well, each album you made is different from uh, from from the others, but I I read that the last one is kind of your favorite. Is that true? Yeah, so far I think it's my favorite because um, it's the the most collaborative album I've made, and I made it with Skuli Persson and and Gunnar Tines, who are both very good friends of mine and long-term collaborators. And I felt that it was a dream come true. But now I'm working on another record, and I think that that's going to be even better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's almost like that. When it will be out? Um, hopefully in the summer. Nice, very good. We are going to wait for it. What's your favorite band or artist? You can look at them with inspiration. Would it be really bad if I would say nobody? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. No, but I, yeah, I, I, I listen to a lot of different music and I'm inspired by a lot of music. But I think that for my own music, it's very personal. So in a way, I don't feel that it's directly influenced by anything. You was a kind of pioneer in uh, crowdfunding because I, I saw you made a project with that, asking people to help you with your project, yeah. and it was a success. Can yes. you tell us about that? Um, I think that crowdfunding is a, a great way of, of creating a, a work environment to do what you're doing, and I think that to engage people in the process in that way, I think it's uh, a modern way that makes sense in the in the environment that that we have in music now. So people are engaged from from beginning. They also um, it, it's very nice because they can follow you step by step yes. in your projects and be part of that. Yes. So I believe for a, a, it's, a fan you, of you, you, it's, op you open the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a dream to participate with you. Yes. So follow your dreams and maybe uh, it's the same dream to, to help you to realize something. Well, and well, I hope. Uh, at least I'm very grateful. <laughs> Are you satisfied uh, of your experience with that? So. Absolutely. I think it's unbelievable that, that this works and and it's. Um, nice to be able to send something personal to to sign something yeah, to pe yeah, to people yeah. i i saw you are not so um, involved in uh, social network i have to work on it yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> i think maybe i'm just a little bit shy <laughs> <laughs> Trying to study Italian with a where professor. Yes, with an old professor. Yeah. But you, you gave up. So. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to learn Italian and I went into the class and the professor, he was the oldest professor in the school and he wanted us to recite the, can you choose a verb and, and you know, with, with the forms. Oh yeah, uh, io sono, tu sei, io yes, yeah, noi so, siamo. Yes, uh, can you do it like slowly? Io sono, tu and sei, he wanted, and he, ah, like a musician. Yes, so. he wanted us to <laughs> recite to like this, the, and he's very old and his teeth were almost falling out. And <laughs> it was so funny that I, I couldn't, I, I was laughing so much that I had to quit. So, no Italian. So you quit your <laughs> Yeah, I have, your to lessons. I, have to, I have to find a younger teacher. <laughs> I don't believe it's so easy to find an <laughs> Italian teacher in Iceland. <laughs> it is hard, yeah. yeah. I think so. Well, uh, you know, a few years ago I was tempted to, to, be, uh, to follow a class of Icelandic. Just for one word. I, I gave up. <laughs> do you I want me up. to help you? Please. Please do it. So you, you, you say Eia? Eia? Fia? 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 Fialla? Uh, you almost have to put like a D here. So you say Eia? Eia? 
Fiadla. Fiadla. Yokut. Yokut. Yeah, so you uh, almost you have to imagine that there's a T and a T here <laughs> because the double L are like, it's like a T. Yeah. Eya fiat fiatla yokut. Yeah. You do it now. You ready? I I do like this. Eya fiatla yokut. Perfect. Bravo. I made it. I made it. <laughs> you passed. Now you know what's Thank Atlantic. you very much. Thank you very much, Olaf. <laughs> Most of any. <laughs> About the show of tonight in Parma, yep. what are you going to, to present? I'm going to present a, a mix of old and new songs. And I haven't decided, you know, the order. I'm going to maybe just ah, going to re read a little bit into the audience and nice. see, see what happens. This is a wonderful place yes, to, to play and... Yes, and so, so, you know, the room is so, so open and... Yeah. So... I'm sure you are, you are going to, to give us a great show. Thank you very much, Olof, for accepting this interview. I have just one question for you. And uh, thinking about uh, your life, your career, what uh, would be an advice to a young boy or a young girl with a dream in the head and uh, the fear in the heart to follow this, this dream? Um, I would say find support, find people who support you, um, seek people who understand you and find people who want to listen to you. Um, and then when you're ready, that you have to let go. Nice, thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.